Good morning from Panhandle Outdoors with Winston Chester. Panhandle Outdoors, your source for fishing, hunting, and information for folks who enjoy the great outdoors. Now sit back, relax. It's Panhandle Outdoors. Good morning, folks. Welcome to Panhandle Outdoors. I'm Winston Chester. Glad you're here this morning. Got a good show lined up, and we'll get started with our weather brought to us by Haney Technical Center at the corner of Baldwin Road and Highway 77. Speaking of Highway 77, that's going to be today's high, 77 degrees, low tonight, 63. But interestingly enough, the water temperature, you know, I have a, a thing about the water temp this time of year, and it's going up to 75 degrees. And that's one of those little currents that's come off of a, a really big body of warm water, and it's uh, shot into here, and it's bringing in the fish. Now, right now, it's been a little too rough in, in the surf to do much offshore fishing or even uh, pier fishing and all. But uh, looking at, you know, looking at for Saturday, Saturday is looking good on a long-range forecast. We'll talk about that more toward the end of the week. Uh, let's take a look at our river readings, look at some freshwater fishing. The Appalachicola or Bluntstown, we're, we're looking at a 16.1, and we predicted this yesterday. It's going back up to about 18. It's just been a constant month and a half of high water on the big river. All right, the Choctahatchee at Caraville, same situation with this rain we've had yesterday and today. Uh, we're reading a 10.1 this morning, but looking like uh, the weekend is going to be rising, getting on up there between 12 and 13 feet by Saturday. Our tie chart brought to us by Kent Forest Lawn Funeral Home and Cemetery. Their motto is one carrying counts, and they're located right here on 23rd Street here in Panama City. Looking at today's tides, we're looking at the last day of April, April the 30th, and good strong tides. We're looking at a tide this morning at High tide is at 10.48 a.m. and a low at 9.20. We've got a 1.8 foot range, but uh, that wind and all is, is wreaking havoc on a lot of it. The marine forecast, south-southwest at 10 to 20. I think it's blown all week. We haven't had a lot of bugs in the air, but we've really had a lot of, uh, a lot, a lot of wind. So be aware of that if you're on open water. I hope none of y'all go on open water today, but uh, just be aware of it you get caught in it. All, when these storms are coming in, you know, the, I was thinking about driving in this morning. The sophistication of the radar uh, system with the weather forecast is just, you know, phenomenal. And you can just sort of be your own little meteorologist and you can look and see when one's coming and what speed is coming and all. So uh, it really helps an outdoorsman, it, it's, especially on iPhones or whatever. You can just pick it up even if you're way out in the woods somewhere uh, as long as you're close to the tower. So be, be aware of uh, staying on top of the weather when it's stormy like this. These spring storms can really have a lot of energy in them. All right, let's take our first break and we'll be right back. All right, welcome back. Glad you're with me this morning. A uh, couple of midweek reports, not that they caught them midweek, but uh, actually on Monday, right before the weather got bad, I, I got two good reports out of Cape San Blas. Uh, Jerry Forehand and his wife caught 10 pompano fish in front of the state park. And then Tullis uh, sent a picture of it. He limited out six pompano uh, Monday morning at Cape San Blas. So I will uh, show you the picture tomorrow. But anyway, that's a good report. Also, some nice king mackerel were caught Sunday. Uh, some really big king mackerel caught Sunday and Monday before the storm came in. So uh, those, those, you know, the first wave of king mackerel, according to old timers, has those really big females coming in. So there were some couple of nice ones caught. Now we're going to try. We're going to. Uh, I want to say uh, a good morning, a special good morning to that uh, Bob Bilsma and the Brooks Bait and Tackle Breakfast Club. I'm going to add Bob's name to the pickle jar and tomorrow. We're going to do a drawing tomorrow uh, on a, on one of those gift bags of tackle. So be sure you try to get it in there now. We're going to try something here. Jeff and I have been working on this. Uh, this is a viewer video. We may start doing a little segment every now and then on some videos. Again, we're talking about technology just going by leaps and bounds. And we're going to try this off my iPad. I showed you the picture yesterday of Tim Kahneman catching a big bull red out of the surf. And surf fishing is just a lot of fun. So uh, we're going to go ahead and, uh, and show it. I'm going, to have to, I'm going to narrate over. We're going to see how this works. Okay, so Tim, is he's at the west end of the beach. And he's, he's set up here. Now, Tim, Tim played ball for us way back in the 70s, and uh, the Can a lot of y'all know the Kahneman family. They've been in construction here for a long time, good folks, and Tim really enjoys fishing. And uh, I'm not going to uh, uh, show you. Well, let's see. This is about a three-minute video. I'm going to cut it down about a minute and a half. I'm going to speed it up. But you see, uh, it was. remember how calm it was Saturday morning? Uh, it was like that all along the beach and all. Now, he's hooked up with this big bull red, and, uh, and they're strong. And uh, here's how you do it, okay? Okay, start reeling in, rock the pole down, bringing it back. And you know, this is the same way if you're catching a big fish off your big big boats or whatever. You wanna 
We want to pull, but you don't reel and pull. You reel on the way down. So uh, a lot of little techniques on surface is important. Okay. And as he's going to walk back a little bit. He's getting a lot of, I know he's getting a lot of coaching from his friends and all. Uh, so you see these techniques. So his, it takes a little while. Uh, I fought fish sometimes in the surf for 30 to 40 minutes. And uh, I'm gonna, so what I'm going to try to do is just go ahead and, uh, okay, he's, he's doing good. I'm going to go ahead and. Gonna speed up a little. I speed it. I'm gonna walk through a little bit now. Still got, still got about a minute left on it. He, uh, he's been fighting. I don't know how long he's been fighting it, but I know he's getting tired. He's not in his ball playing shape. I know that. <laughs> Tim was a good defensive back for us. Let's see. All right, he's getting close now. Okay. All right, here we go. All right, starts, starts walking him up. That's what you want to do when you get it closer. If you can, just walk him up to the beach. You know it's a big fish, and uh, he's still reeling. But that's what I do with mine. I just start walking backwards. And Tim, if I were to grade Tim on this effort, I'm going to give him about a 97. Okay, about, he's still, you can see that he's down at the west end of the beach down there. I know he's gathering a crowd. Now he's walking up. Okay, you see how far up the beach he's walked. And here it is. Here's that big bull red. And he, he caught and released this, baby. It was a it was a nice one. You saw the picture yesterday. And uh, he's got it ashore now. And uh, it was a good good fight. All right, there you go. Nice bull. Okay, still got a lot of energy left in him. All you got to do is get back in the water. He'll be fine. A strong fish and uh, and a good video there. You see he's trying away. Good job. Okay. Uh that, and that's how you just, you know, just throw some live bait out there. Once you get them hooked now, you just got to start pulling on them. So that's, that's a good job, Tim. Let's go ahead and take our break, and we'll be right back. All right, welcome back. Hope you, hope you enjoyed that uh, video uh, that we showed. If you want to send in some video, we'll do a little segment maybe once a week or something on some, some good video. We don't need it too long and uh, want good, clear quality and all. And uh, I can't promise or guarantee that, that we'll uh, show it, but... Uh, we can, uh, you know, used to, y'all have to bring stuff up to us and all that just, but with this, with technology, it's, it's great. So uh, it's, uh, I want to see some good bass fishing and brim fishing and red snapper fishing. So we can't cover it all, so we can have a little viewer segment. Now, uh, real quick, let's go over the dates of the hunting dates. I mentioned this the other day. I just want to, uh, here, here's a chart here. I'm just going to read out a couple of dates here. Just go ahead and put it on the calendar. We're zone D, archery. Archery is going to open up October the 25th, okay? Crossbow, October 25th, they're together now. And the muzzle loading is going to be a little bit after that. I'm looking at far right column in zone D. Muzzle loading is going to be around December uh, the 6th through 12th. That's a good week right there. But the general gun, what most of us are concerned with, the general gun season will be November 27th through 30th, and that's our Thanksgiving weekend. And it's closing, and it's going to be open from December 13th all the way to February the 22nd. So those are, the, those are the big dates there. Looking at a couple of others, uh, uh, bobcat and otter. I don't know how many of y'all going to hunt bobcat and otter, but then we have a spring hunt. And uh, the, doe, the doe season, we're going to go over that. Uh, I'm not going to mention it now, but it's sort of a little convoluted with us having a deer management unit one, deer management unit two in our viewing area. So we're just going to get that printed out. But I encourage you to go ahead and start putting those on your calendar and, and uh, go ahead and start planning for it. It won't be that, that far around. Now, we're going to set up this video right here. This is a video Saturday morning. We went out to the uh, city pier. I'm sorry, the county pier. Normally go to the city, I alternate the county pier this past weekend and had word that we're catching a lot of pompanos. We went out there to set up our uh, pompano fishing and uh, really, really had a good time. You know, Gail and I, we fished about, about three hours and we videoed for about three hours and fished a little bit and, and I talked to some people and all. Had a great time. So uh, let's sit back and enjoy this video on Saturday morning now. You saw Tim, you see how clean the water and clear it was. So that was a, really a hindrance to us. So let's go ahead and take this uh, video, take a look at it. All right, folks, we're here at the county pier. Uh, a lot of folks are coming out here, and it's right on a Saturday morning, so it's going to be crowded, but I just want to get it out and uh, target some pompano. I got this pier chair, I want to try it out. I'm a five gallon bucket. We're going to lightweight today. So we're going to see, uh, we're going to head out here and just see what's going on.
I'm going to take a break and walk down here and see what's going on. We're looking for Cobia, nice boat there. Beautiful morning. In fact, it's too pretty. Hardly anyone's catching any fish right now. That's why I'm walking down here. I've seen one pompano pull in in an hour and a half. Everybody set up for cobia. These guys got the right idea they were eating. Live bait. Guys, just catching a bait. I've got about 32 fish on it. I haven't seen any Anybody cast yet. Well, I'm here with Rusty Russell. <laughs> One of my old time players, way back in the day. Rusty, tell yeah. what's going on this morning. Uh, catching cigar minutes and some speedos. Waiting for the King Michael to come in, but it hadn't showed up yet. Well, so we'll right. see if the wind changes. Push come out of the south later. Okay. All right, so you're listening to a good crowd out here this morning. Yeah. I always like to see some local guys out here, though. Yeah, there's quite a few. Yeah. Visitors and stuff, so. Yeah. They're around. Maybe they'll bite a little bit. Okay. Better than sitting at home. Well, tell us, what, tell us what, what are you doing these days? Uh, I work for Coca Cola. Been okay. there 23 years. Oh, man. Yeah, so wow. enjoying it. Taking a little break on the weekend from it. Yeah. Spring break's over, Easter weekend, so getting Maybe. ready for summer. Yeah. I guess your kids and all are grown? Yeah, grown, one married. Wow. One not, uh -huh. dating. One's a school teacher, Lacey teaches. Lacey's third yeah. grade at um, Drummond Park with Lucille Moore. Yeah. Yeah. Ryan's um, food and beverage for uh, Camp Creek and Origins out there. Well, that's great. Hey, Matt. So, Matt. He's married, but no grandchildren yet. I think I got oh, you. Okay. That'll be around the corner. Yeah. Yeah. Lori. Lori oh, doing good. Good Still, deal. She made it through the cut at People's when they went to Hancock, so she's been there oh, probably 23, 24 years. Wow. But everything's going good. Good deal. Good. Caught that squid. Oh, good job. That's, that's good bait right there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Everybody's already just baiting up, getting ready. It's really calm. All right, I'm going to go back down here to the pumping the hole. And you see all the rigs and all. I always get a kick out of you looking at all, all the different rigs. Some store bought, some homemade. I'm seeing more of these like tricycle. Kind of rig. Got your rope there, got your hook. Birds. Now, what did you say your name was? John. John, John Spivey. <laughs> you, you say you watch Panhandle Outdoors? I watch it every morning, man. I appreciate that. I drink a cup of coffee with you every day. <laughs> That's great. I, I appreciate it. Yeah. So, a little bit dead right now, huh? It's dead, man. Maybe they'll come in now. Yeah, it'll, it'll kick off anyway. Well, thanks for watching Pan and Outdoors. Oh, man, sure. Okay. Well, it's always great to run into viewers and people watch the show. I just really enjoy it.
Yeah. You ladies doing any good? I caught a stingray. You caught a stingray? Uh huh. Cool. Pretty good size too. Good. That's I guess it's pool real good, isn't it? Yeah. Now where are you from? <laughs> Mariana, Florida. Mariana. Mm -hmm. Very good. <laughs> about the little pier chair is so versatile. I, one guy suggested hooking a bucket on it. So I even I got a free hand now. I got two rods, a bucket full of stuff, all rolling in. Now here's a uh back somebody stop by if you want to you just, here it is. You you go tailgators.com. You go tailgator.com. Check it out. Made here locally, right here in Bay County. Invented here locally. I'm gonna make them they have invented here. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna wrap it up. We've seen one pompano caught in three hours. So it's as slow as the morning bluebird days. And we just have those days. It's been beautiful. I've got to talk to some people, uh, watch the show, got to talk to some uh, old friends of mine and uh, I've had a great morning. I admire some of the sea oats that we planted. I see we had a count up here. We planted these two years ago. Oh, planted these, we planted these all here. You can see they sort of look like they're planted, uh, and which they are with the pattern. We have one spot there, but I think people walked in there. But uh, these, these, are, these are growing good, good and healthy. It's going to really, when the storm hits, that's going to really protect this bulkhead here, this wall that's building up the sand here. Right, I'm here at the gate. I asked, I asked Joe if I'll get my money back, but he said it's not a guarantee, right? Probably call it fishing and not catching. <laughs> well, listen, when, when was the last big run you guys had? Uh, last Friday and Saturday. Okay. It, was, uh, it was awesome. And then it just Sunday it turned off, Monday it turned off. So it just kind of comes in waves right yeah. now. So I'm about one week late. You're about a week late. Listen, I, I'm either a dollar short or a week late too many times. But you got the, you got the best seat in the house. <laughs> All right, enjoy it, though. Take care. Guys, come on back. All right. All right, welcome back. Let's take a look at our fishing game forecast for the, today. We're looking at our time brought to us by Mark Cowart of Edgewater Beach Realty. That mark's number 832-6000. Looking at a good time this afternoon. If we get a break in that weather, looking at 158 to 358. We'll just say from 2 to 4 this afternoon. At this morning's time, uh, tomorrow morning, 1.32 to 3.32 will be the times there. And I uh, hope you enjoy that video. It, what it shows, you know, you have patterns and all, and it's interesting looking at Saturday. I get so much feedback and all from so many people, and I really enjoy this feedback. And I'm not a marine biologist, but I can pretty well figure when people are catching fish and when they're not. 
There was not much going on on the pier Saturday uh, in, the early, in the morning area. In fact, I'll give you an instance. We, I counted 16 of us guys and girls in, uh, fishing at Pompano Hole, and there were 16 people fishing. You make one cast every, uh, every minute, one cast a minute. That's 16 uh, people fishing at a time, 60 minutes in one hour. One hour, I, I do all this math while I'm sitting there fishing. My wife thinks I'm half loony when I'm doing this. I said, honey, you realize that we made 960 casts and I saw one pompano caught and 960 casts between all those fishermen. And multiply that times three hours. Of course, 16 fishermen didn't stay there, some moved on. But you can imagine all the casts and one pompano was brought out of that hole. So that's, that's why we call it fishing. And, uh, but don't, don't ever start counting your casts and try to compare it to anything else, okay? And we'll talk more about this pattern. I have a special guest coming in tomorrow, but we'll talk more about this pattern, too. We'll talk about some freshwater fishing tomorrow, okay? As always, I want to uh, thank you for watching Panhandle Outdoors. We appreciate your viewership. Appreciate your participation in the great outdoors. And I really appreciate you doing something good for somebody every day. You get a lot of feedback on that. So today, do something good for someone else and have a great day and God bless. Thanks for joining us for Panhandle Outdoors with Winston Chester. Panhandle Outdoors features hunting, fishing, and other activities and information to help you enjoy the great outdoors. Join us next time for Panhandle Outdoors.